Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Hey wife, did you know that Anchor is sponsoring our show? Really? Don't we use Anchor to distribute our podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts? Yeah, and we are on just about every other platform available as well, thanks to them. Why do we use Anchor as our podcasting service? Well, they make editing and distributing our show a breeze. What if one of our listeners wants to start their own podcast? Then they should head over to anchor.fm or download the app to get started. Awesome! You guys should go do that right now! Husband! Wife! Do you remember what happened yesterday? Uh, there was the one dude that thought his half-sister was hot and then raped her. And, and then uh, made her feel like shit for it. Yeah, but then um, the sister's brother killed <laughs> The dude, other brother. The other brother. So Amnon the rapist. Yeah, that guy. And his sister Tamar. And it was the other guy's name was Absalom. Yeah, Absalom. Yeah, Abs- Absalom. Yeah. He killed him. And Daddy David was so sad. Yeah. He lost his rapist son. Right. And then his other son ran away because, you know, he was worried that, you know, he might die. And then a couple years later, he was like, all right. Well, I mean. I'm glad you He said that. He said those words. Yeah. It hasn't actually, like, mended itself yet, at least. Well, it. I mean, it said that he was reconciled to Amnon's death. And right. And longed to be reunited with his son, Absalom. Sure, sure. So. Yep. All right. So, no mention of poor Tamar. Fuck right, her. Yeah. She's just a... Yeah, vessel I mean, for does, semen. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, what do they call it? Cum bucket? Wow. Have yeah. you, you not heard that one? I have heard that. I just didn't expect you to pull it out. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> I mean, that's what women are, right? Cum buckets. <laughs> we aren't good for nothing except making you a sandwich and receiving cum. Right. Okay. We have to get so pregnant all the time and have all the fucking babies, which is so funny because, like, a lot of men do not want to be taking care of babies, but okay. Right. I have to say something real quick because What's that? Um, recently been discussing with somebody on Twitter, and, and it's not the first person that's been religious and had discussions like this with me, but there's a lot of people that are religious and disgusted with religion. That's very and interesting. It, yeah. No, it is. It's, uh, I, I'm, it's refreshing to hear. I mean, like, I'm not religious. I'm not, I don't believe in God. But when somebody is like, yeah, they suck. The Bible sucks. They suck. I'm religious in a different sense. I'm like, mm. okay, good I mean, on you. I don't agree with you, but also. Clearly you have some kind of a conscience and a set of morals that are not based on right. um, performing horrendous acts. I, I would acts. much rather that than, right. you know, what religion tends to be. Right. So what, what I get out of that is that they're more spiritual than sure. um, bible Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And I can be down with that. For sure. All right. So anyway, the, the Absalom thing and all that was Sam, 2 Samuel chapter... 13. And we are reading 2 Samuel chapter... 14. All right. Let's go do this. Okay. Okay, 2 Samuel chapter 14. All right. Joab's scheme for Absalom's return. Joab's what? Scheme. Scheme for Absalom. Why does there got to be a scheme in it? He's got to scheme it. Okay. Joab was like the military leader guy, right? Yeah. Okay. He's the one, um, yeah, he's he's been sure. a decent follower of David. Just, but David's like cool with Absalom, like it seemed like. But maybe so, some people aren't. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's find out. Yeah, but see he's what's going on. Gonna try to have Absalom get back in. All right, all right, fair enough. I mean, he is a murderer of rapists. He did kill his own brother. He did kill the the son of the king. I'm good with all that. So, so am I. You know, I'm whatever. Just, I'm putting it out there in different words. Right, that, right. As to why he might not be welcome back. Yeah, sure. Like sure. officially. No, I, I, I get it. I get it. Sure. Joab realized how much the king longed to see Absalom. 
Okay. Yeah. So he sent for a woman from Tekoa who had a reputation for great wisdom. One hmm. one might say she's a witch. I don't know. I mean, it sounds a little. I mean, like right? in those days, it seems like they would have a pegged woman, her that way. A woman with great wisdom. Right. What kind of woman has great? And why would a king need a woman's wisdom? Well, no, not the king. Joab. Joab went to see her. Oh, okay. Joab realized how much the king longed to see him, so Joab All sent right, for right. a woman from Tacoma. Well, I thought I thought he meant that he sent for her to come see the king. I guess no, so. he. Joab is like I don't know what to do. I, I want to help him see Absalom, but you know he is a murderer. Right. So I got it. How, do, okay. how are we going to do this? Got it. He said to her, "Pretend." You, why do we have to start sentences with "pretend you"? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we just use our words? I don't know. Right. Let's, well, you gotta, you know. Let's put right. on an act. Yeah. Pretend you are in mourning. Wear mourning clothes and don't put on lotions. Okay. Oh, that's because people use mourning. the stink a lot. And so he's right. saying, don't put on lotions. Go ahead and stink. It's I wonder fine. what lotion, like what kind of container of lotions came in back then? Or was it just like a flower you rubbed on yourself? You know, like <laughs> what, what What was a lotion in that time? A little pot or something? Maybe. Like, maybe. Yeah, I mean, what containers did they use for shit? I'm, I'm just curious. Probably you know? a pot. Sure. With a little stopper. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a tin. Right? A flask. Yeah. <laughs> Act like a woman who has been mourning for the dead for a long time. Wait, he's telling this woman yeah. with the lots of wisdom to mm -hmm. okay. pretend you're in mourning. All right, and so he's gonna have her act out something, maybe. I, I guess I don't know. I think he's probably gonna try to do some analogy thing. Okay, because they can't ever just speak fucking straight. Right, right. Then go to the king and tell him the story I'm about to tell you. Then Joab told her what to say. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And they're gonna tell us in a minute. I, I don't quite understand <laughs> why he you needed a woman of great wisdom to do this, but like he's just basically hiring an actor. Yeah. Like, okay, go act. Go act. Right. When the woman from Tekoa approached the king, she bowed with her face to the ground in deep respect, because that's the only way you have to fucking worship by putting your face on the fucking ground. Right, right. Saying, you know, I'm a piece of shit and you're awesome. I'm unworthy to even be in your presence. I just, I can't deal with that. Like, I don't like brown nosing. So, like, I would, if, if it were me, right, I, I, I think I would just walk up to the king like, hey, what's up, dude? Oh, kind of you know, like, like, <laughs> like that guy that, <laughs> I'm so sorry, that made me laugh. Kind of like the guy in the uh, grocery store that walked up past a, uh, uh What's his butt and said, "What's up, scumbag?" Oh yeah, the one that slapped uh, Rudy Giuliani. Rudy, that's yeah, slapped yeah. Rudy Giuliani. That What's was up, so scumbag? great. I especially love the fact that they got out there like right after it happened and he started like, like oh, "It's he so bad. Me down. He could have almost killed me." And like, dude, I we, we, we now we're, we're watching the video now. Like, we, we just saw what happened. You need to shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Sup, scumbag. Right. <laughs> oh, so anyway, she bowed deep to the ground because the times. And cried out, Oh, king, help me! What's the trouble? King asked. Alas, I am a widow, she replied. You better watch how they might marry you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my husband is dead. My two sons had a fight out in the field. And since no one was there to stop it, one of them was killed. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Now, let's... The rest of my family is demanding, let us have your son. We will execute him for murdering his brother. Yeah. You know, so then I got to lose both right. sons. yeah. He doesn't deserve to inherit his family's property. Moo. They want me to extinguish the only coal I have left. And my husband's name and family will disappear from the face of the wait, earth. Wait, wait, wait. Why are they pitching it this way? Because, all right, hold on. So, <laughs> David has lots of sons. Uh-huh. Based on what I've heard through the last few sure. chapters. Sure, sure. And... His son that is not that is not there, mm -hmm. he is there not there because he killed somebody who raped his sister. Right. So he has a justifiable reason for yeah. doing what he did. Completely legit. Right. And not only that, he's not the only fucking son left. So like, there's nothing about this story that actually translates to what actually happened <laughs> with David's son. Okay, wait. Um, I don't know if he had other sons. These are the only two they've named. No, there was definitely another son. Was there? Yeah. There's definitely another son. 
Okay. Um, they named it like a list of them, or like not not a list, but they named that they had a bunch of them like earlier on. I don't remember. I'm sorry. That's right. I don't remember shit. So All right. I can't be held responsible. But yeah, he definitely has other sons. Okay. I, I know that without a doubt. Okay, well, you did say, though, also, that the murder was justifiable. Now, yes, to us it was. Sure. Because he killed his rapey son of a bitch brother. Mm-hmm. But, here, oh, yeah, he does have another son because uh, Solomon, by his uh, rapey Bathsheba. wife yeah. Bathsheba that right. he raped. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, at the very least. At the very least, he's got another one. Yeah. You're right. Okay, but anyway, to us, the murder was justifiable. Right. But to them, it might not be. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm not saying I agree with them. Right. I'm just, I'm telling you, apparently it wasn't justifiable to them. Well, I don't know if you recall the story about when um, <clears throat> that one guy, I don't, I don't remember who all was involved, but there was the one guy that raped um, the woman, and then she was like family with this whole other group of people and then they came and told them all that they had to chop their oh, wieners off yeah. not their wieners off but like you know get circumcised yeah and so they had them do that and then they slaughtered them all while they were still healing yeah yeah that and, was great and that was all part of the bible and like so obviously revenge for rape is a thing that is okay and has happened in the bible right so but this time maybe not you know all right who could know god is fickle all right. He does change his mind, even though they say he doesn't. He sure, does. Sure. He does. Okay. Leave it to me, the king told her. Go home, and I'll see to it that no one touches him. Oh, thank you, my lord, the king, the woman from Tekoa replied. If you are criticized for helping me, let the blame fall on me and on my father's house, and let the king and his throne be innocent. She's okay. literally telling a story here uh -huh. that was made up. Uh huh. So who, like, she's lying to the king. I have no fucking idea. Would you be okay lying to David? I would not lie to any king. Right, but I mean specifically the head no. chopping off king David. I would David. not lie to David. Right. No. no, because he's scary. Yeah, like, I wouldn't risk that shit. No, he's an asshole. Right. You never know why he's, and he's rapey. Yeah. He's murdery, head choppy, rapey. I wouldn't go near him. Right. If anyone objects, the king said, bring him to me. I can assure you he will never harm you again. Then she said, please swear to me by the Lord your God that you won't let anyone take vengeance against my son. I want no more bloodshed. As surely as the Lord lives, he replied, not a hair on your son's head will be disturbed. Okay. Please allow me to ask one more thing of my lord the king, she said. God, this keeps going. <laughs> Go ahead and speak, he responded. She replied, why don't you do as much for the people of God as you have promised to do for me? Boom. What? Mic drop. Damn. You have convicted yourself in making this decision because you have refused to bring home your own banished son. Wow. She's... Oh, she brave. Right? Like... I, I mean, she's right. If I was talking to... If I was this woman and I had been talking I to Joab and he was like, back. I need you to do this, I'd be, I'd be like... Are you fucking crazy, you d dude? Yeah. Like, I am not going to talk to King yeah. David like this. Yeah, Joab's this like, not hey, happening. do me a favor. And she's like, sure. I would be like, oh, hell the fuck no. Yeah. Are Absolutely you, not. Are you going to be there like to like are you escort me out of the fucking stand room? in front of me so that when he goes for my head, he gets <laughs> yours instead? Right. All of us must die. This is her going on. Yeah, yeah. All of us must die eventually. Our lives are like water spilled out on the ground, which cannot be gathered up again. But God does not just sweep life away. Instead, he devises ways to bring us back when we have been separated from him. Do you think that the people that got drowned in the flood, do you think that they... <laughs> Came thought, back? Even, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess they're burning in hell or something. I don't know what There's these people... Like that. I don't yeah. fucking know. Whatever. Whatever. I have come to plead with my lord the king because people have threatened me. I said to myself, perhaps the king will listen to me and rescue us from those who had cut us off from the inheritance God has given us. Yes, my lord the king will give us peace of mind again. I know that you are like an angel of God in discerning good from evil. Wow. May the lord your God be with you. I know one thing. Or, I'm sorry. That's the way I would have said it. Yeah. What he said was, I must know one thing. <laughs> That's not the same at all. <laughs> not even close. Uh, I must know one thing, the king replied, and tell me the truth. Mm. Yes, my lord the king, she responded. Uh, did Joab put you up to this? <laughs> Seriously? That's what he says? <laughs> yep. That's hilarious. And the woman replied, 
My lord the king, how can I deny it? Nobody can hide anything from you. Yes, Joab sent me and told me what to say. He did it to place the matter before you in a different light. Hmm. But you are as wise as an angel of God, and you understand everything that happens among us. She is such an ass kisser. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my God, she's like, I love you and I'll suck your dick twice if you just put it right here on the ground in front of me. You know, it's true though. When you when you phrase something in such a way, as, like if you if you kiss someone's ass while telling them what you want them to do, mm-hmm. you're that much more likely to get it. I guess. I mean, it, but it's true though. That's why know. ass kissers is a thing. You know, like that's why that's why brown nosing is a thing. Because like if you suck up to these people who otherwise wouldn't give you the time of day, they might give you the time of day because you're being like, oh, you're awesome. Your shit don't stink, you know? like. I mean, I guess it's got to be phrased a certain way, you know? Right, right. Because there comes a point when I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if you tell me one day, oh, did you cut your hair? I will know instantly something's wrong because you have never, ever, not once in the many years that we've been married, noticed that I've cut or colored my hair. That's Ever. not true. You've done drastic things, and I've noticed that. Name one. I, I don't know. It's been a while. No. I'm not You've very ne- observant, okay? I'm, no. I'm calling bullshit on that one. You have not ever noticed. Okay. You're just trying to sound less shitty. I Whatever. No. You have not noticed. But here's the thing, okay? Okay. Now I'm going to suck up to you a little bit because <laughs> I just hurt your feelings. <laughs> You, I don't need you to notice whether I've cut or dyed my hair because you show me you love me in many other ways. Well, thanks. Yeah. That's, that's nice of you to say. I uh, know. Well, okay. I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression and think that you're an asshole. You're not an asshole. You're just unobservant. I mean, as you I said. can be an asshole. Oh, no. You totally can be an asshole. Right. Definitely. But that wasn't the point of this story. Right, right. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, I don't know what I was saying. How did we get off on that? I have no idea. Why don't you read the next sentence? Oh, ass kissers. Oh, yeah, ass If kissers. you were kissing my ass, I would totally be like, Okay, Spill, what is wrong or what do you want? (laughs) Like, I don't get it. Right. Okay. So the king sent for Joab and told him, all right, go and bring back my young man, Absalom. Joab bowed with his face to the ground in deep respect and said, at last I know that I have gained your approval, my lord the king, for you have granted me this request. My God, these people are so scared of Why him. is Joab so concerned about getting Absalom back? It said right at the very beginning because he knows how much the king wants him back in the first place. Oh, okay, okay. All so right. he's... So he's trying to allow for the king to have the thing that he wants. Yeah. Because Joab is such a good servant and mm-hmm. whatever of He's king taking David. one for the team, basically. Got it. He's okay. like... Thank you for letting me serve you the thing that you want that you can't admit that you want. And so I'll pretend that I want it. And I do want it, but I only want it because I want you to be happy. Right. Because I love you as well. Can you stop moping around? Can we go kill some more people? Right. Jeez, man. Yeah. Then Joab went to Gesher and brought Absalom back to Jerusalem. But the king gave this order. Okay. Absalom may go to his own house, but he must never come into my presence. What the fuck? That's some... I'm. What? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, he did kill my kid. My I, rapey kid. Yeah, and, but you he's know. also your kid, so... Okay, but let me ask you this. We just recently watched um, The Boys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so Soldier Boy is coming after... Um, Spoiler alert? No. Oh, okay. I'm not going to spoil anything. Okay. Soldier Boy's coming after Homelander, right? Uh Uh-huh. And, okay, yeah, I guess this part is a spoiler. (laughs) Homelander's like, wait, you're my dad? What? And then all of a sudden he changes his fight, right? Right. So I'm I'm just saying, like, it, it does change. Sure. You can change your attitude based on what they have done. Right, right. Now, in the example I gave from the boys... Um, it went the opposite way. Right. You know, because he was like, I was going to fight you, now I'm not. Right. But here, he's like, I love you, you're my son, but I still hate you, though. Right. So, you know, relationships, I don't know, they're funny. Sure. So Absalom did not see the king. Now, Absalom was praised as the most handsome man in all of Israel. He was flawless from head to foot. <laughs> I mean, that that is very important. I, yeah. We do need to know Those whether looks. he was ugly or not. Right. They matter. 
he cut his hair only once a year. Because he's got the good hair, probably. And then only because it was so heavy. Right, because it's such good hair. It was like, good it's, hair. It, that hair, man. Man. That fucking hair was just so fucking great. I bet his balls were good, too. I bet he had good balls. Right? I bet, I bet his circumcised penis was really good. <laughs> I, I bet that his hair and his penis and balls were the best of all... In the land. I thought we were talking about his hair. His, but they and you, always. And then you got onto the penis and balls thing. They always talk about their penis and balls. Okay. I just right. assumed that that was going to be next. Got it. Got it. You, they, just, you just went ahead and took that step. He's gorgeous. Yeah. Of course he has a great penis and balls. Sure. Of course. And hair. His hair. My God, that hair. Yeah. He is so hot in that hair. Man, Absalom. Absalom, Absalom. What a guy. What a guy. That's that's why it's the name of the book. <laughs> Absalom, Absalom. Mm. When he weighed it out, it came to five pounds. Holy shit. That's some heavy hair. That is some heavy hair. I bet he put his penis on the scale. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, he had three sons and one daughter. With some woman. His that... daughter's name was Tamar. Oh, Okay. He named his beautiful after his daughter sister. after his beautiful sister. Right, yeah. And she was very beautiful. Well, that's good. Says so. That's good. That's good. His daughter was very beautiful. I'm glad for him. Maybe he was in love with his sister, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. That, no, that no. goes too far, yeah. no. He just loved his sister and did not want her to get raped. Right. And he loved his wife and kids. Right, yeah. Okay. Absalom. Although we don't know who his wife is. True. So. Absalom lived in Jerusalem for two years, but he never got to see the king. Then Absalom sent for Joab to ask him to intercede for him, but Joab refused to come. Right? Because he's like, I've done all I can for you, man. Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, mean, Joab did stick his neck out pretty far. Right. He put his neck all the way on the ground. Yeah. You know? So, please tell me he's not going to, like, go confront his dad and his dad's going to kill him because, you know, he's not supposed to. I have no idea. That'd be some shit. That'd be some Especially shit. Especially after having a family and, like, right? I mean, come on, man. Yeah. Absalom sent for Joab for a second time, but again Joab refused to come. So Absalom said to his servants, Ooh, go and set fire to Joab's barley field. What the fuck? The field next to mine. Dude, what the hell? <sighs> what? This is going to be stupid. That, that was dumb shit. Joab got you home. Right? Yeah, what, are you, what the fuck are you doing, he man? He already tried for you. Are you... Uh, this is dumb. That, that is dumb. So they set his field on fire as Absalom had commanded. Then Joab came to Absalom at his house and demanded, Why the fuck did your servant set my field on fire, asshole? <laughs> he said it all that without the cuss yeah, words. Yeah, I know. But I, know. I mean, right. I think that that's that the That deserves the cuss words, I yeah. Think, for sure. I think that was perfect. No, I, I agree. I and agree. Absalom I've replied. Sto I've stopped correcting you as much because... You know, honestly, you interject those cuss words pretty well. And I think if you can't tell, <laughs> well, you know, that's kind of on I mean, you, it's still the listener. The, it's still the same message, just with different emphasis. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. on, on some cuss words. Yeah. But it's the same message. It is. So. And the tone is the tone prob that they Probably have. more accurate to the actual feelings. Let's be honest. Right, yeah. And again, listeners, if you cannot tell when I've added an F-bomb or not... That's just, kind of on you. Just automatically from here forward, and and in the past, really. Mm -hmm. But if if wife you know drops, F you know a fuck or a shit or a mm -hmm. asshole, generally no, always, always they're not in the fucking Bible. Okay, yeah. not this version, so that, that's anyways. All. <laughs> but you know, just just whatever. Okay, so he's like, why the fuck, man? Yeah. And so Absalom replied, because uh, I wanted to you to ask the king why he brought me back from Gesher if he doesn't intend to see me. You burned my fucking crops because you <laughs> wanted to ask me a goddamn question, you asshole son of a bitch. You could have texted me, bro. Right? Okay, not really, but you could have sent your guys to come talk to me. Right. Like, I might as well have stayed there, he's saying. But you're home with your wife and children, so might you have stayed there? <laughs> Is that really what you wanted? Right. Okay, Sorry, I might as well have stayed there. Let me see the king. If he finds me guilty of anything, then let him fucking kill me. You mean like burning the fucking field of barley? 
or murdering his <laughs> right? other kid. Yeah. I mean, you did yeah. these things. I mean, you, I'm not saying you, you didn't have good reasons for some of them. Very but well might die here, dude. So Joab told the king what Absalom had said. Then at last David summoned Absalom, who came and bowed low before the king, and the king kissed him. The end. <laughs> That doesn't mean that he's going to let him live. we got to stay tuned. Mm, I, I mean, it feels like he's going to let him live. And but it could go either way. He for Look, for all I know, he's going to like kiss him, and then he's going to say, I love you, I'm really glad to see you, but I can't let you live. You know I can't. Mm. And he might kill him. But also, like, he better be paying fucking Joab back for his mm-hmm. goddamn barley. He better be throwing a lot of barley parties for right? that guy because Joab <laughs> took a lot. Right. He took yeah. a lot of shit. He deserves some barley parties. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I that that was an asshole move. That really was totally. <laughs> douche move. Right. I mean, I never thought I'd like sympathize with a guy in the Bible, but Joab has done some good. You yeah. Know? He's. I mean, he's a good follower. Yeah. He. So far, I don't have a whole lot to okay, complain about. Okay. He Joab. did get Bathsheba's wife killed or husband killed. Right. But. But again, that but was he because he follows and... He follows and, orders. Yeah, he follows orders from his king. Yeah. So, I, I mean, mean... he's... I think generally now, he's... is following orders always a good excuse? No. But... Uh, let me tell you what. If David was my king, I would probably follow his fucking orders. Right, because you're dead otherwise. And but, also I mean, I'm a woman. I don't have... Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a f- way fewer options than you would. True, true. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully he gets paid back for his barley. I hope Joab gets paid back, and I hope that um, Absalom does not get killed. Right. The yeah. end. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That was Second uh, Samuel chapter 14, 14, and tomorrow is... Friday, and Friday. we will cover Second Samuel chapter 15. All right. We will see you guys then. Bye. Hey, wife. I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Ooh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.